This is Channel 5, KTLA, Los Angeles. From Hollywood, the newlywed capital of the world, here come the newlyweds. Yes, it's maternity day on the newlywed day. Now let's meet our newlywed couples for today. Couple number one, expecting their baby in just 12 weeks, Sherry and Jim McIntosh. Couple number two, expecting their visit from the store in just 12 weeks, Sharon and Mike Foley. Couple number three, they'll be proud parents in just five short weeks, Jody and John Everett. Couple number four, expecting their new arrival in just 11 weeks, Linda and Mark Smith. Those are our newlyweds for today. And here's your host, the star of the newlywed game, And welcome to the newlywed game. Well, you can tell by the looks of all of our couples that we know what they've been doing. Don't you know that? We're going to find out, too, what else they've been doing in just a moment when we question the husband. What else please do? My Annie's all girl. Stevie's all boy. I need one toy store for both. Discover Fed Mart, America's greatest general store. Look what I discovered at FedMart. The baby wet and care doll. She wets and gets diaper rash. And Stevie can make six hairy, scary monsters with Dr. Mad's monster machine and monster mush. At FedMart, Kenner baby wet and care doll, $9.99, and Dr. Mad's hairy, scary monster, $6.99. FedMart. It's what girls and boys and Christmas are made of. When America goes out to eat, one of your favorite foods is a juicy steak, broiled to order, like they serve at the Sizzler. And when America wants seafood, you love large, crunchy fried shrimp dipped in delicately seasoned breading, cooked up plump and golden brown. Now the Sizzler's serving them together, steak and fried shrimp. Two of America's favorites at America's favorite price. This is one of the most charming traditions of the season. And it's captured in Christmas Tree by Spode. Christmas tree dinnerware by Spode to put on your table and enjoy all through the holidays. Christmas tree giftware by Spode so you can share this tradition with friends. Christmas tree dinnerware and giftware by Spode. Charming. Come find Christmas tree by Spode at Victor's China. Surprise someone you love with a gift that has a special ring to it from the GTE Phone Mart. With the wives secluded safely off stage, it's time for some five-point questions. As you know, gentlemen, you'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you'll chalk up five points toward a grand prize that's been selected especially for you. So listen carefully, guys. Remember, each question's worth five points. Each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that grand prize. And here we go with our first five-point question. Gentlemen, from the beginning of your first date, to the very first time the two of you made whoopee. Will your wife say it was a matter of hours, days, weeks, months, or years? From the beginning of that first date now, Mark. It's a I matter would, of hours, days, weeks, months, or uh, years. I would say days. It was a matter of days. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of hard when she's living with you. It was, pardon me? <laughs> she, <laughs> she was living with the lady that married my father and <laughs> she moved in with me in uh, matter of uh, days <laughs> yep okay john what do you think i'd say a year so it was a matter of years then well we went together for a year okay but what and your answer is years though right from the beginning of your first date to the first time you made whoopee well, it was a year yeah is your answer hours days weeks months or years years thank you very much mike <laughs> Years. It was I'm a matter of years. Yes, I'm a nice guy. Good for you. <laughs> of course, Mark down there, he said with a big smile on his face. <laughs> Jim, what was it? It was a matter of months. Matter of months. Yeah. All right, next question, gentlemen. Tell me, what will your wife say is the most oriental room in your house or apartment? What's the most oriental room in your house or apartment? And this time we'll start with John. 
The bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom is oriental? Right, because of the, the fog and the, the colors and you know, okay. shower and you have an oriental and bathroom. Like Mike? Let's say the baby's bedroom. The baby's bedroom is oriental. The wallpaper comes kind of close and that's it. All right, Jim. I would say the kitchen because of the food. The kitchen is oriental. Yeah. Good, Mark? Definitely the kitchen because we eat a lot of Chinese food. It has to be the kitchen, okay. Here's the last of our five point questions. Gentlemen, tell me, what specifically will your wife say there is on top of your refrigerator right now? What's on top of that refrigerator right now, Mike? Some placemats and a planter. Some placemats and a planter. Oh, and a carton of cigarettes. And a carton of cigarettes. Don't forget they're up there. Okay. Jim? Uh, there's a bowl up there with bills on it. A bowl of bills. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid, I think. Uh, sure, <laughs> best kind. Mark, what's on top of your refrigerator right now? Nothing. I get Nothing? on there all the time. She's always putting papers and stuff up there. Say, but there's nothing there. up there now? Not now. No. Not one thing. Okay, John? Well, that's easy, and it's the canister set, because I have to get them down, because she's so short, for one, and then she's pregnant, so she can't get close to the refrigerator. You mean she got short since she got pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's short and pregnant. Oh, she's short and pregnant. Right, so I have to get them down, so I know... I see, so there's canister set. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for your answers. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say, but first we've got some gifts for our runner-up couples. <laughs> Our three runner-up couples will receive Ambush. The fresh young fragrance by Dana is fun to be ambushed with fresh fragrant Ambush perfume. And the Presto Fry Daddy Deep Fryer, the family-sized easy fryer, easy to use, easy to clean, easy to store. The Presto Fry Daddy Deep Fryer. And Cremettes, the macaroni and spaghetti in the famous green box. Cooks up firm yet tender just seven minutes the way you like it. And for a delicious hot breakfast, here's Downy Flake Jumbo Waffles, regular blueberry or buttermilk. You get a breakfast break with Downy Flake. And now, back to Bob Eubanks and the Newlywed Game. Girls, from the beginning now of your first date to the very first time the two of you made whoopee, was it a matter of hours, days, weeks, months, or years? And let's begin with you, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> from the beginning of your first date to the first time you made whoopee. Hours, days, weeks, months, or years? Days. Days. <laughs> All right. He said it was a matter of months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did he lie to us? He lied. It wasn't days. Yeah, it was. It was months. He's not talking about before we didn't go out. Hey, well, you didn't tell us the truth. <laughs> no, I told you the truth. You did? Yeah. Karen? Um, it has to be years. Matter of years, all right. Uh -huh. He predicted you would say it was a matter of years. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Jody, what do you think about this one? It's got to be over a year. Yeah, because so, we've been going out. Is your answer years? Years. <laughs> not years, not S. Hours, days, weeks, months, or years? Okay, years. Years. He predicted you would say it was a matter of years. That's right. <laughs> A matter of hours? <laughs> a matter of hours? He said it was a matter of days. Oh, lying? <laughs> Wait a minute now. It was a matter of hours? From the first day. the movies and then Yeah, right. You told us a story, didn't you? No, no, no. It was days. She's thinking. Okay, next question, girls. Tell me, what's the most oriental room in your house or apartment? The most oriental room inside your house or apartment. Karen? We don't have anything oriental, but we got some real cheap <laughs> living room furniture and stuff from Japan and stuff is cheap. <laughs> so I'll say So your living room. room. All right, I need everybody to speak up real loud and clear for me on the panel, too. Mike said 